Bye! What's, what's up, gamers? I don't know. He seems pretty disappointed, guys. So there's the easy route, and then there's the not, not easy route. <laughs> there's the 10-minute route, and then there's the, like, one-minute route. If you manage to... No, well... Oh, never mind. But if you manage to beat... Like, find the 10-minute the route, I would... I would be surprised. Just saying. Oh, I see what you were talking about last time! <laughs> hey, remember when I said that this stage is a lot of dumb jumps? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the first one. So, remember how last time I spent almost the entire video trying to get a jump? Here you go. This is great. I warned you. You did. I, I can't deny it. You did. I was like... I was like... I knew there was a stage that had a whole bunch of jumps, and I thought it was the last one, but I was wrong. And then I looked at the next level, and then it was this one. I'm like... Oh. So, uh, have fun. Um, it's, I just find it hilarious how the easy way is substantially easier. Oh, I, I don't doubt it. It's so easy. You skip the entire stage. It's so good. And you know what the best part is about this jump? There's nothing that can kill you. So you're going to be here just trying. Mm-hmm. Wait, are you implying that later jumps do have things that can kill you while swimming up? Uh, I can't confirm or deny this kind of stuff, sorry. Th th that's a yes. <laughs> for, for, the, for the sake of uh, ambiguity, cannot tell you. But um, there might be. It's Echo the Dolphin, of course there is. He's got stars on him. Let's go. This is the time. This is the time. This isn't the time. I'm trying to find a specific thing. I got it! <laughs> I gotta do it again! What's up, gamers? Right? Is that is that what you meant to say? No. What is up, my fellow comradian gamers? No! <laughs> I jumped back to the old one accidentally. <laughs> well... Good practice! <laughs> I looked away for one second. Did you accidentally jump back? I just said that! I, I was, was my like, whole- Ah, no! I, I, I like my brain like- Apparently! Kind of do, 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 do. City of forever. Forever. And I know how city. I did it last time. It's just- the timing thing is it something like you have to time like the turn at the very last second yes like it has to be over here i can't charge once or i lose my speed you just did a backflip oh, and you okay. went really far surprisingly i didn't even push left i lost my momentum too quick and for sure press too early anyway Wake me up when he's gotten over the jump again. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be half the video. This one jump. And another 25% is going to be the second jump. The real the real question is, when, when do we get to a point where I tell you the easy route? Whenever you break from watching me. <laughs> so basically whenever this stops being enjoyable to you. If you're on this jump for 30 minutes straight, I'm telling you the easy route. 
That doesn't, trust me, that doesn't mean to force yourself to be here for 30 minutes. I don't even think you would want to do that. Watch me. Guys, Echo's, Echo's breaking his, his, his soul. I even mentioned no charging before. What am I doing? So how's your day? <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure that last time you tried to have a conversation started best on like what's my favorite fast food restaurants I forgot an obvious option Long John Silver oh what a wonderful restaurant <laughs> what <laughs> a wonderful exist? place <laughs> do they even still exist yes there's one there's one half a mile from my house and there's another yeah. one about two miles away it's like they are by no means in trouble okay there I made it no. are you kidding I barely jumped! Oh my god! I barely I'm, I'm already I'm already close to telling him the easy <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna go in and render this video and edit it. So because clearly we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, oh the one we just recorded. Okay, yeah, sure, go yeah. ahead. It, in, you know, this is something I wanted to mention to you. And it's even better, because I, I think I wanted to mention it on camera. So, just so everyone knows, um, about when we started consistently uh, recording, which it that happened before I got my new job, I believe. We, yeah, we did it at random times, but we still managed to figure something out. It was out. shortly before um, that. Yeah. I think it was um, towards the end of Gex. So I think it was around two-ish months ago then. I mean, we could um, just check the spreadsheet. Or right. you could. I can't do that right now. But let me, let me do that. Because um, it has the dates recorded on there. and Or let's... dates uploaded, rather. Well, it has both. But... I think the, days re or the date recorded is probably the best thing. Like, wait, what? Oh, these are upload dates. I was like, there's no way we recorded two days in a row. Um, let's see. <laughs> I like this funny jump. Where, where we have like a, a Wind Waker HD. We recorded that part on 8-29-2018. And then I go down one. Bloodborne part 12, 2 6 8, 2018 Bloodborne... Bloodborne wasn't a mistake. Our uploading of Bloodborne was a mistake. Yeah, it, it screwed us over for a really long time, actually. But we were only just starting to recover from that, like, mid-October. Yeah. And even then, arguably, we're still kind of having problems because of it, because you still tend to have more videos than me. Well, I also have more LPs going on. Yeah, already. that's true. Which I'm trying to dwindle down, and I'm so close to getting two games done. So yeah, it's good. Well, one game, well rather, one game just doesn't take too long. And yeah, 06 doesn't take that long. And SA2, you've got ten parts tops. Yep, i I think that's the most surprising thing of the bunch. Oh, I know. Um. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep looking at this real quick. See if I can figure this out. It looks like around. July? It's like, I know it's kind of funky, too, because before that we had a period where we had once every two days. We had uploads? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. And I'm still at that point. Uh, we started the daily uploads um, on September... Fifth is when we started doing daily. Okay. So, about two months from time of recording this. And I did the backwards backflip again. Actually, we, um, we kind of, since the beginning of this year, actually, we, we've been pretty cons Not the beginning, like, since the month before I went on my trip to Japan, I feel like is when we started actually consistently getting together and doing stuff. Um, then we had that minor break because of 
all that stuff. I was trying to figure out the whole job thing, I think. And I had the trip, obviously, which was mm -hmm. like a month. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, so anyways, um, at a certain point, um, I was doing really good with, um, there was a point where I was doing really good with uploading videos the night that we recorded them. Yeah, that, that time's long gone. So, oh, I made it! Yay, don't! <laughs> I mean, I have to run over, that's the problem. I know, but don't be too high, like, don't be super high up. Just play it carefully. Um, anyways, uh, but now that it's the times have changed, I am all the worst at uploading things. Like, I have now, to send him constant like, reminders, and even then... On the bright side, though, I can get every video done in one fell swoop, and I'm not too late. For now. I, no, I should be good. Because all the parts that I uploaded were covered until, I think, like a week or two. I'm not going to say the exact date. I don't want to date this way too hard. And why not? Um, we date all of our other videos. We're getting better at not dating all of our videos. We just, we dated the one we recorded before this. I know. Um, also, thank you for adding remove mic delay on... <laughs> I sent you the screenshot over that, didn't I? Yeah. I just love that every time I look over there. Because he was um, like, you need to mention before we start every SA2 part. It's like, okay, I'll make sure I never forget. <laughs> So, um, we are covered, after this part is uploaded, we are covered, if I take that one out of the equation, wake this guy up, we are covered for, I think, a little over a week, currently. So, which is good. That reminds me, do you know how long without saying the date, because again, I'm trying not to date this video too bad, do you know when you're going to have to take your break? I thought it was going to have to take it already, so I'm stunned. Maybe he won't have to take it, guys. I, I'll, I'll have to take it. I just don't know when. But I thought it was going to be the, this week, but no. Honestly, if you have to take a, a, like, if you feel the urge to need to take a break during, um... Well, it's a work thing. It's not a personal thing. I know. I was also going to say, if, if, like, if work's really getting to you and you just need time to, to relax, you can always just take a break off that. You can always just mention that. I mean, um, my shift is in the morning. It shouldn't be an issue because we record at night. Well, yeah, but I mean, sometimes, you know, if you're having a lot of, like, really rough days, you might just be like, hey, can we not record? I mean, I don't hate my job that much. Well, I mean, no, no, no. Like, when I say a rough day, is I mean, like, a tiring day. Like, for example, during some of those, those like, nearly 40-hour weeks where I was working mm -hmm. nine days or nine hours for, like, four days in a row or whatever which for me is a lot guys for what i do um didn't you have nine week. hours this week by comparison no i had um i have nine hours actually next week oh but i might have more depending on what my manager says i told i told her i was like hey if i if you need me i'm available because i have low hours um but uh we're starting to get low hours i told you that i think already yeah um, You're getting low hours, and I'm getting ridiculously high at once. I mean, thankfully, my hours are the same so far, but so, it's coming. Um, this week I had, let's see, 9, 12, 17. That's 17 hours, which is still not that great, because 30 or 20 hours is the ideal uh, number, but mm -hmm. it's not that bad at the same time. Um, so, and next week, yeah, I have nine hours, and I was, I was a little, I was a little disheartened. I don't know, uh, it's funny, because as I've gotten older, I think I, I think I've told you this before, but as I've gotten older, I've started to appreciate working, because sometimes, yeah, like, I guess I'm just so used to working every now and again, sometimes I'm sitting on my butt, and just doing yeah, you nothing. you mentioned things like that. Yeah, it, sometimes I'm just... No! Are you kidding? <sighs> well, we're back to this again. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, um... I'm just like, man, I wish I could be working. I feel like I'm doing nothing with my time. So... 
So, yeah. Anyways, back to actually editing this video because clearly you're gonna be here for ages. I mean, it's I could only make been fifteen a cup minutes. Of coffee. I could. Oh, could, you totally could. I could make some tea. I could make myself. You like can make a pants. terrible drawing. I can make. I, I mean, if you're taking that long, there's a very, there's a very serious issue at hand because I. As terrible as my drawings are, it still takes me like an hour to do them, usually, around that time frame. Maybe I should do that as a stream tonight for fun. Paint drawings with Yogi. <laughs> Ooh, what should you draw this time? I'll take requests from the chat. Uh, so did, did, didn't you say that uh, you was planning on going through some of the... Some of the older Yogi LPs and doing terrible drawings for them. If I stream it, that's what I might do. I would still make a donation incentive for five dollars. I draw you something terrible. A Slurpee. Or, sorry, sorry. Beautiful. Draw a Slurpee. <laughs> I've never let that go. I, I, I would have. I would have went through with it if it didn't require so much extra effort like proof of identification and this and that like dude i just want a slurpee i don't need to fucking prove that i exist in this world <laughs> i know why they do it but i don't want i don't want to bother because they might just reject it anyways they'll probably reject it really exactly so i don't want to do all this work just to be like yeah no you we can't let you do this This is so painful. I know exactly what I did to get over it every time, and I can't replicate it. And I still don't even know what that crystal's doing down there. I can't talk to it. I can't get a key off it. It's just there. It's not even blocking what's, anything. What's up, gamers? It's, it's, it's just here. Does it show up the same one that it doesn't even say? I have to be facing this direction. Oh, of course. What's up, I'm gamers? I'm make this really difficult for me. Of course I am. Yeah. What's up, gamers? You'll love it eventually. No, no, I won't. If anything, I've gone from I've gone from not caring to absolutely despising it. But why? <laughs> it's so obnoxious. How? He's just upset because I cut him off half the time. Half the time? <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> I had to cheat on my intro in order to get you not to cut me off. I mean, I wasn't planning on cutting you off this time. I think I only do it in Ocarina of Time, honestly. Mostly Ocarina of Time, I should say. You did it in Jack 2 last time. I know for a fact I have to manually edit those ones. I know. Psh, I could edit them for you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Do you have Sony Vegas? No. Do you have Adobe Premiere? No. Then you can't that edit them. Works. That would be good enough if you knew how to edit on it. <laughs> Shit is like a fucking... Like a goddamn Rubik's cube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I would give you crap over it, but honestly, no, you're right. It, it, it's way more complicated than it needs to be. It's really powerful, but it's like a fucking Rubik's it's cube. It's the Paint Shop Pro of <laughs> freaking video editors. Which, if you it's don't know, Paint Shop Pro is a it's a cheaper knockoff of a Photoshop. It had it's basically as powerful as Photoshop, but it, it's so complicated and convoluted that nobody bothers with it. Well, the thing is. Just so for everyone who doesn't know, is P Lightworks people have made movies off of it, like yeah, commercial movies, Le legitimate have been movies. Like I can pull up a list. Actually, yeah, they I'm have them on their website. Like Wolf of Wall Street was when they had up when I was checking, but that was a few years ago. I think it's still used to this day to make some uh, but uh, big budget movies. I wouldn't doubt it. It's like it's a strong program. It's just it's so complicated. Pulp Fiction was made on it, apparently, I think. It's like it, it, it took me a couple weeks to figure out how to drag a video file into the program. Kind of complicated. Oh, oh, wait, no, it says... Okay, so the list of famous Lightworks editors include 
uh, Jill Bilcock from uh, Moulin Rouge and Romeo and Juliet, Tarek uh, Antwer from Revolutionary Road, The Kings and The King's Speech, Sally Menk from Pulp Fiction, Peter Hones from L.A. Confidential, uh, for which he won a BAFTA for. So, hey guys, this is a free program. I mean, there's also a pro version. Yeah, there is a pro there, version, which pro version. I, the pro version I think is mostly just for rendering options. Yeah. Um, and then there's a UK editor, uh, Chris Gill, who made 28 Days Later in Centuron. I recognize MP3, those titles, but good on them all the same. So, I can only find... I think this picture tells me... Why is the backwards front flip the most distance I've gotten so far? Who knows? And why can't I replicate the backwards front flip? So, use in films and TV series, there might be more to this. I guess, maybe not actually. So the movies that have been made are some of the ones that I've said. Um, so Pulp Fiction was edited with Lightworks. The Cure was edited with Lightworks. Romeo and Juliet was edited with Lightworks. These are all. I'm just going to stop saying that part. LA Confidential, Moulin Rouge, 28 Days Later, Bruce Almighty, Revolutionary Road, Centura Centuron, uh, the King's Speech, and The Wolf of Wall Street. How old is this program? Because like, some of these it, are like 90s movies. Yep. It is from initial release, 1989. Okay. I didn't even know video editing programs existed back then, but okay. Well, I mean, that, well, how else do you think they made movies? <laughs> they fuck, They use fucking witchcraft, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they used their spells. They were like, this will be green screen. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what a time to be will, alive. And this will be chroma keyed. <laughs> As they like smite the, the, the film reel with their electrical <laughs> fingers. Now uh, we can see the. I don't think I've seen a single live action movie from that time period though. It's just nothing that's interested in me. I barely like movies of nowadays so they're just fine going back to ones of your. I like animated movies from nowadays. Well, <laughs> sure. Basically, anything that, that has a Disney logo on, I'm probably gonna watch at some point. But... Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was, I was just trying to edit that. Uh, I actually saw Inside. Was it Inside Out? Is that a game? Is that a movie? Inside Out's a Pixar movie. Oh yeah, that's that's the one with the 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 joy the joy yeah. person, right? I oh like my. joy. She's cute. Um, but yeah, no, I, I finally saw that because I didn't actually see it before, um, and I finally saw it, and it was pretty fun. That was the last one I saw in theaters. Um, I still haven't seen Incredibles two though, which is well, okay. Never mind. I, I saw that one in theaters. I forgot about that one. It's a thin, it's a sin. I know. I'm sorry. I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting to get it. I'll be getting it soon. To watch i've been wanting to see it for i mean honestly time. everything everyone said about it is true it is literally incredibles one again but if you're okay I mean, with that fine. then go into it yeah i mean i'm i'm completely fine with that it's like that's not inherently a bad thing pixar hasn't really made a bad movie except for like cars 2 it's it's crazy when you think about it and arguably the first cars like nobody cared uh I think the first Cars is okay. It's it's got a lot of charm to it. I actually think I think the third one's pretty good, but that's just because it actually one. has emotional weight to it. So you mean you don't is, feel emotional weight toward, towards Mater, the Mater movie? I mean, of course, I feel emotional weight towards a Mater. <laughs> but no, no, like um, I I I think it's I think it's like. It's it's crazy how I think Cars Three just because it has emotional weight to it, it's a pretty good movie. You've been on the second jump <laughs> this entire time. Um, I want to ask how many jumps are in this level, but I'm scared to know the answer. Also, I I actually, I actually did see uh for the first time uh two uh, not too long ago because I did skip out on this movie 
uh, Monsters University. It was pretty good, too. Uh, I didn't see it in theaters. I did see it eventually. I kind of just thought it was so so. Yeah, like, I didn't think it was, like, bad. But it was, like... I mean, like, the original movie is definitely better, but... Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, it's hard to top the original. Yeah. Come on. It's hard to top... It's hard... It's really hard to top, literally, the Toy Story to The Incredibles is, like, the absolute... Yeah. You, even A Bug's Life is really good. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't seen Bug's Life. I saw... A chunk of ants, if that counts. You know, the, the knockoff the DreamWorks made, but... Uh, I feel sorry for you. That's a terrifying movie. <laughs> it's a terrifying I, I couldn't movie. even finish it, honestly. It's like, it's not a good film. But they they clearly not. rushed it out to release. I know that's fans, but... Uh, it looks too ugly for me. I'm sorry. The visuals aren't even what did it for me. It's, it's the characters. They're just no good. Yeah, that's it. Bugs like this fun, though. Um... But I played the Bugs Life PS1 game. Does actually, that count? It, it's it's funny because I'm looking at the list, right, of Pixar movies, and after The Incredibles, that's when the first Cars came out, and then literally the next movie that came out out, out of it, or the next four movies that came afterwards, literally the, between Cars and Cars Two are amazing, and then there's Cars and Cars Two. Um, there's, there's Ratatouille came after Cars 2. Never saw that Cars, one. Cars 1, my Me, bad. Meaning to, um, but never did. Ratatouille, it's such a good movie. It's a very good one. And then, and then Wally came out, and I think everybody knows that is a very, very good movie. I the saw about 30... five minutes of it. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't do good with silent films. It's only silent for the first, like, 30 minutes, but that's... Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the problem. It's so good. It's so good, though. But, like, it's still a really good... I think that's what a lot of people actually praised, um, like, the the most about it. Oh, I know, but the that's not something I go to movies to see. I know. Yeah, that's that's fair. You know, I understand. Uh, but, you know, they made Ratatouille, and then Wally, and then Up came afterwards, um, which sometimes I refuse to watch just because of the first, like, five minutes. I know. It's sad. Uh, understandable. It, it hurts. It really hurts. I still think that that probably should have been the movie up. Like, not that I dislike the movie up, but that probably should have been what it was about. It's... Every time I watch it, I feel so sad. It just... Throughout the entire... It's not even sad, the the movie. It's, except for the beginning. But every time I watch the beginning, I feel like I can't watch the rest. <laughs> uh, but then Toy Story 3 came out, which was surprisingly good. I, think I remember really not liking it when it first came out. Like I absolutely hated it back day one, but it's yeah. So did I. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really like it. And then I rewatched it. I'm like, this is really good. <laughs> so I've honestly never rewatched it. But I still, think it's a really good movie. I'll be. I'm interested in what they're gonna do with the fourth one. Like why? Like even though I wasn't a fan of three, like I, I'll at least acknowledge that it concluded well. Like what are you gonna do with the fourth one? Because Bo Peep, was, apparently because Bo Peep was missing in the third one, that it's supposed to focus on her and Woody. So I have no idea how they were going to do that one. It sounds like a Direct 2 sequel from that description, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> direct um, to see sequel or on a blah blah time travel blah blah Kingdom uh, Hearts. Please, please, oh no. <laughs> Darkness yeah, and Kingdom Light. <laughs> yeah, Kingdom Hearts jumps in. <laughs> Darkness and Light. <laughs> Honestly, Friendship I hearts. I legitimately would not be opposed to like a Pixar Kingdom Hearts film. I would not be opposed to that at all because the CG trailers in or the CG in the oh, game is sure. really, like phenomenal. So, um, I mean, the honestly, whenever I see the, I intro, mean, isn't that kind of the idea behind Wreck It Ralph anyway? The first one, at least. Kind, kind of, but they only go to three different places though. It's the it's, idea behind it. It's just they don't yeah, really explore it kind of, Except that that's for that's for video games. Like I'm thinking, like jump instead of jumping between games, jumping for Disney World oddities could be potentially interesting. As long as they don't retell the stories the same way. Honestly, I feel like if they just made it like its own original thing, it would be pretty interesting. Because, like, like I said, their CGs are great. I mean, I can play Kingdom Hearts 2, and I can just watch the intro to Kingdom Hearts 2, and I'm like, damn, this shit is beautiful. 
It just looks so good. But I haven't just... even made to the halfway point of this wall. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is hurting uh... me. <laughs> so anyways, after Toy Story 3, there was Cars 2. Uh, so we are, all know how that goes. Um, and then they made Brave, which I haven't seen. I've seen a bit of it. It's kind of a snore. Like, maybe it gets better later on, but... Then I know the, that it's another movie that has its fans, but I also know it's a movie that has its uh, detractors. Yeah. And then after that came Monsters University. Kind of the same thing with that as Brave. And then after that came Inside Out, which I think Seriously? Was That's Brave. like a three-year gap. Yep. No, it's a two-year gap. Oh, well, kind of the same difference. It's technically uh, one year and then 360 three day gap seriously <laughs> yes <laughs> um and then after that came the good dinosaur didn't see it but i heard that's kind of in the same boat of either you love it or you hate it sort of thing I've, I've heard, heard it was one of the worst movies I've not kind of cars too say it's weird because i've heard a lot of people say that but i've also heard a lot of people say it's one of pixar's like underrated gems so i don't know um and then after the good dinosaur was Finding Dory. Never which, saw that one, which is really was, weird because for the longest time, Finding Nemo was one of my favorite, if not my favorite anime movies ever. So, yeah, I don't I, know. I, I love Finding Nemo, and I still think uh, I think Finding Dory is really, really good, really fun too. Um, not as good as the first one, obviously, but I would say it's kind of comes close, actually, to an extent. Funny enough, so I do think it's good. And then Cars Three came around, which I, I don't know if I'm in the minority here, but I still think Cars Three was surprisingly good. Again, because it had emotional weight behind it, which is weird because it's Cars, but you know, they gotta justify making this toy somehow. My favorite part about Cars is existing is the fact that the creator said that literally Cars killed humans and took over the world. <laughs> I did not know that, but I love that. <laughs> Hold on. Cars theory is true. It, it's it's funny. It, it's it's a theory. It would used to be a theory, and then legitimately, like the guy who like wrote it or whatever was like, "Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's true." <laughs> it's really funny. He's like, "Yeah, sure, why not? It's not gonna change the story any." That what? Uh, I wasn't even touching it that time. Nice. This is a weird theory about how there's people inside the cars controlling the. I don't like this. This is really creepy. <laughs> Get me out of here. Um, cars killed human. Cars movie killed humans. Uh. Wait, wait, this might be a theory by somebody who worked on cars. Is it even a theory at that point? I don't know. After years of suspicion, theory crafting, and occasional conspiracy theory, adult fans of Pixar's cars franchises are one step closer to solving the movie franchise's biggest mystery. Where the heck did all these talking sentient cars come from? The latest fear theory comes from Jay Ward, the creative director for Cars, for the Cars franchise himself. Ward claims the scenario he has put forth isn't Cars canon, but is certainly chilling nonetheless. If you think about this, we have autonomous car technology coming in right now. It's getting to the point where you can sit back in the car and it drives itself, Ward said. Imagine in the near future when the cars keep getting smarter and smarter, and after one day they just go, why do we need human beings to be, um, why do we need human beings anymore? They're just slowing us down. It's just extra weight. Let's get rid of them. But the cars, uh, but the car takes the, on the personality of the last person who drove it. Whoa. There you go. That's his theory, apparently. So then Mater was last driven by Larry the Cable Guy. Good to know. Apparently so. I, I'm going to just say that's the official uh, theory now, because I, I love it that way. That's, we that's might as so, well be. It's so funny. It's so funny that the creative director was like, yeah, no. Uh, like, he, unless he, the he, actual he, director or the producer come out and say no. 
I mean, that's the creative director behind it, though. He basically made the game. Or game? Sorry. I'm watching you play a game. Uh, he basically made the series, so... Kind of going off him. <laughs> um, anyway, so after Cars 3 came out, Coco came out, and then Incredibles 2 came out. And that's where their uh, filmography ends. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually surprised at how many of those I actually saw. In an, on, Medica er, on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm going to count how many movies have over 90%. <laughs> So there Keep track are, of ones that have upper 80s, too. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 films, right? Mm hmm And then, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 14 have over 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. What are the other six? Cars, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters, University, The Good Dinosaur, and Cars 3. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, every but all of them are above. Uh, so Cars One is seventy four percent. Cars Two is a staggering forty percent. <laughs> That's actually higher than I would have expected. Brave. Is Maybe it's just for the animation quality. Probably. Brave is seventy nine percent. Monsters University seventy nine percent. The Good Dinosaur seventy six. And Cars Three is sixty eight. Which I don't think it deserves. I think it deserves like a seventy. I would rate it like a seven out of ten. Surprisingly enough. I mean, I get it's it. 68, it a, it's only 2%. Yeah, it has the most, again, it has the most emotional bait to it. I feel like it actually has, it has more reason to exist than both the first and second movie, honestly. You could, uh, you honestly, you could say it's, it's like, it, you could make it Cars 1, it would work just as well. This because jump is killing me. <laughs> it's literally like, I don't know, have you seen the movie? No, I haven't seen any of the cars. I saw a bit of the first one. I saw the entirety of the second one and none of the third. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> I only watched the second one for the memes. Oh, uh, fair enough. Um, in cars, in cars three, the the basic message is like about getting old, sort of thing. It's like mm -hmm. about getting old and and you know becoming like a you know teaching people what you've learned, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's like like that sort of. So message. it's a legacy story, sure. Yeah, pretty much. You know, yeah, it is actually one hundred percent a legacy story. <laughs> um, and now I'm gonna tell you all about the Pixar films that are to come, because I don't know if you guys know, but Pixar is one of those companies that love to announce that they have films coming. Oh yeah, well, I mean that's kind of a Disney thing, and then. Pixar kind of just inherited that from Disney. Yeah, so Toy Story 4 is coming out in 2019. Two untitled films are set to be released in 2020. An untitled film is set to be released in 2021. And then two more untitled films for 2022. And I think um, they said that... I don't know if it's the one in 20... I don't know if it's the ones that are coming out in 2020 or the ones in 2022. But one of them, or two of those films in the, one of those years, they're both supposed to be, like, completely original. That's actually a lesson I would have expected. Um, I think. Although, at the same time, maybe I shouldn't be considering how 2010s, like, at least half their movies have been... It's crazy that Toy Story has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I, mean, I, I realize how important it was to the industry and everything, but I don't know, 100 seems way too high. I personally like the second movie more. Oh, Toy Story 2 has 100% also. <laughs> Toy Story 2, I, I can see, is having a really high score. 100% still kind of pushing it, but okay, fine, whatever. So, Toy Story 1 and 2 have 100%. Finding Nemo is a 99%. Toy Story 3 is a 99%. Um, and then Inside Out is 98 Up is 98 And I think that's all the 98s they have. 97 is Coco, The Incredibles, I think that's it, and the 96 is like Monster Zinc, Wally, -E, Ratatouille. These are all within 4% of each other. Yep. Well, this is also Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. 
I don't know. I, honestly, I feel like I trust Rotten Tomatoes more than I do Metacritic because Metacritic seems like it's overtly low for some reason. Metacritic, I, uh, I don't know. I just don't trust them at all. I only trust Metacritic for games because they I don't actually trust them for the like. Games. I trust them for games. I don't only because they actually have a good community. Com, com, I can't say that word. Community. Com, no, commute. Com, Cumulative. Com, com, Chameleon? Co cumulative. There we go. It has, it has like the best cumulative, cumulative score for all the games. Or for all the reviews that come out. That's the only reason why I trust it for games. For movies, not really. Like I said, it seems like they always have stuff rated super low. Like, for example... Um, like, Monsters, Inc. 96% on... Rotten Tomatoes, but it has a 78 on Metacritic. That seems like such a drastic jump. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of. I think part of it's just it's just that you either have the the one crazy reviewer or community bashing. I think Rotten Tomatoes as a whole is just like a really good website because while the the good thing about Rotten Tomatoes that I like. And it's, it, it works like Metacritic, though. But the thing is, like, it will have the ratings from critics, but it also has the ratings from whether people, the vast majority of people, enjoyed it or not. And there's something about that that I really I mean, doesn't like. Metacritic have that, too? It does, but people like to, like, inflate Metacritic, whether it's for memes or, or like... For like true hate or whatever, and that's especially on the gaming side. So that's why. I oh really yeah, like, like I'd be scared to ask, but go on Metacritic and see what the B movies reviewed that. <laughs> like I'm scared to ask, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> Let's see. I'll tell you the critics' difference between, uh, the between the critics and the, the user base. Oh boy. Oh god, they changed Metacritic's layout. Oh, it looks so ugly. So it's 54% or 54 out of 100 for uh, critics, and then it's 6.5 on user score. That's actually a lot lower than I expected. I was expecting like an 87. Wait, B Movie is not a Pixar film. No, it's DreamWorks. <laughs> this person's memeing. And this is a comment from 2008. They rated it a 10. The B movie is one of the best Pixar films ever made. It's pure genius. Yeah, that's definitely me. Before the B, B movie memes were even a this thing. This person, this is the top review. This person's name is Old Memes, and they're literally just they just copy pasted the lyrics to the fucking "It's Hip to Fuck B" song. Wow. What does Shrek have? I mean, Shrek actually was a pretty decent movie. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious to know for, like, memes' sake. It's like... That's why I asked for a B-movie instead of Shrek, because, you know, Shrek's actually a decent movie. Yeah, Shrek 1 and 2 are actually pretty decent. And then I'm pretty sure the memers won't bother showing up for the other two. I mean, nobody really memes about the second one, but... On occasion, but... Usually it's either the first movie or the franchise as a whole. So it's got an 84, the Shrek movie, or mm -hmm. Shrek has an 84 from critics and has an 8.8 .8 from normal people. That's... You know what, that's really weird. Why does it go, why, why does it go from like out of 100 for the meta score, like from the critics, but for the users, why doesn't it use that same system? Why does it use the 8.8? .8? That's equivalent to 88 on their website mm -hmm. what's the point scientists are baffled also i would right. just like to mention that it is we are now at 45 minutes at this one jump i'm giving you till an out for like an hour because <laughs> there's a lot more to this stage oh i believe you <laughs> So, like, this almost seems like something that I would actually genuinely try to beat legitimately on my own in my free time, but... City of Forever, <laughs> Echo the Dolphin. I want to see a nine-minute video, and I want to see how long it takes for them to get through the, 
says the jump. They probably do it immediately. <laughs> and then they get stuck in the third jump. <laughs> There's three jumps. I was kidding when I said they get stuck in the third jump. I can actually kind of reliably do the first one too, now, too. Like, it still takes so... me a few attempts, but I can get it within a few. Like, the second one is the one that screwed me up. Like, the only hint I have here is these bubbles here. But they don't seem to do anything, so I I'm instead try to get the height here, but it's not working. So, it took them three minutes to get through the first jump. Um, and then they got past the second jump about what the minute. what <laughs> uh, so they got past the second jump about a minute later lies blatant lies <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this the third jump is it, they give you like a million times more room i mean room doesn't really mean much no they mean i mean like you can dive down really far i wouldn't know how i did this level is i i found out how to get past the the jump. Oh my god, there's four jumps. <laughs> no, I, I actually do want to do it legitimately. It's just... Did I mention that there's oh, also this, this jellyfish that spawn at some jump? Remember how I said that yeah. there was a part where you could die? So yeah, there's, there's four jumps. So I think and I then... see how you're supposed to do with this and I don't like it. <laughs> so, 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 so get this. There's four jumps, and then there's a level that you can die in. But, on the bright side... Um, hold on. I'm trying to take a look at this level. I'm making the progress. The, level, so the actual level itself is like no, no, are you short. kidding me <laughs> back to this again again i'm giving you to the hour mark before i just tell you the the easy way i can't believe i spent 45 minutes doing the same thing all we've talked about is pixar movies guys pixar and and my living embodiment of einstein's definition of insanity so doing the uh, same was... thing over and over again expecting a different result so how is this making you feel? Log dot silvers. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> sure. <laughs> like I can only make the same joke so many times. And I'm pretty sure every time I do, I'm breaking my HPR rules. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, technically, I'm probably walking a very fine line, but. It took this person like four minutes to figure out where you're supposed to go after you do the, the actual jumps. They made this jump. They made all four jumps. Luckily, there's not a lot of things that can kill you outside of puffer fishes. <laughs> I haven't seen a single one yet. <laughs> They're near the end of the level. Oh, of course they are. Of course they are! <laughs> What, did you expect him to be anywhere else? <laughs> I, mean, I hate this zone, but I have to do a jump here so I get a speed boost. But then I'm at risk of jumping out of bounds. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, there has to be another way to do this. I did it, I did it, I did it! <laughs> you got two more! I made it to the halfway point! <laughs> oh my lord. I'm surprised you haven't gone insane yet. Why are you surprised? Like, is an HBO in general just like a test of my patience? Look at I'm how patient I am! I'm so. <laughs> oh yeah, he's going insane. <laughs> Look at how patient! <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> I, I can't shout too loud. It's it's kind of late, but like kind of. I mean, it's it's 11 at night here. What? Okay. I did not expect that to work. I'm on. Wait, did you do it? Yes. This is number four. Don't worry. One more. He might be able to do it. 
And they haven't given me a single health item this whole time. <laughs> Which no. I didn't really need until now, but... Those, those dudes spawn infinitely, so don't even bother killing them. If you, by chance, die in this section somehow, I'm just gonna tell you. I think the... that might be the part where like, okay, everyone, it's been a nice LP, but uh, <laughs> I think it's time to stop. <laughs> You should be happy that there's an easy way to get through this level. Otherwise, otherwise I, I would I, I would cheat and just use uh, I would just use the password online. I would not give a damn at that point. Oof. It's like, that point, that's soul that crushing. Point, at that point, I would. Oh. Like, you wouldn't even be able to stop it. You're like, nope. The, the, <laughs> the best the best part is this isn't even this isn't even as bad as it gets. Welcome, my son. Welcome. <laughs> To the machine. Oh, I love the machine, man. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be saying that in due time. You won't even be able to joke. You're not gonna be able to look at a machine correctly anymore. You're welcome, my son. Is this the reason why you've been delaying those uh, Breath of the Wild and Destiny of the Blade XL piece? Because you traumatize the machines? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so he doesn't totally deny it, guys. I'm telling you, that level will make you go crazy. You think this is bad. <laughs> this is only bad because of the jumps. You think the lagoon is bad. <laughs> yeah, I still have, honestly, I still think the lagoon is slightly worse so far. The jumps here are still brutal, though. Especially that second one. Though it did become much more doable once I figured out what to do. I'm I'm still gonna, I'm I I can't wait until we get to the machine. That's gonna be that's gonna be a fucking hell, one hell of a part. I'm honestly gonna I on it right now. I'm just gonna say straight up, I wouldn't doubt if it takes an entire recording session. You think you think it's a joke, but if you, God forbid, you die on the final boss, <laughs> do it all again. <laughs> oh, I almost jumped it back. It stopped me, thankfully. <laughs> oh, I saw that too. Oh, well, I, I, I can't. I don't even have the health to play around with in here, so I can't even get around to swimming in the middle. Welcome, my son. Welcome to. She, I was listening to that song the other day, and all I could think of was this game. You can never listen to that song normally again. It's because they share the same title. Oh, well, sure. Now I have no health. And yay! Well, <laughs> tell me the easy way to do this. All right, so go to the go where you're going. All right, now go up all the way. Now take a right. No, no, no. Go to the right. I'm right. doing it this way. Damn it! <laughs> I'm determined. <laughs> See you guys next year. <laughs> you might want to just start up this day too now. <laughs> I could be at this for a while. You hear that baby crying in the background? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Let me finish rendering this video. You never started? No, I did. I just didn't finish. <sighs> yeah, I agree. Niece of mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can cry oh, with yeah. the mask, so... It's like, I don't care anymore. This is a matter of pride. I at least have to hit these four jumps. Oh, where? I like to remind you too, that third one I got through by dumb luck. <laughs> but I still don't know how I did that. I, I was I was just gonna tell you the easy way. And guess what I get to do again? <laughs> Please tell me there's gonna be a point where you're just gonna let me tell you the easy way. I mean, you can tell me what it is. I, I'm gonna choose whether or not I 
do it. I can't <laughs> tell you unless you explain it, or unless I explain it. You skip the entire level. Oh my god. I have to do this legitimately. <laughs> my pride is taking risk. The, the, the quick way is legitimate. Then I have to do this the difficult way. So you're making it sound like this was a glitch. It's not. Because it, it, it opens up a pathway in the beginning of the stage. Okay. Save. 1080p. Because why not? What do I have to lose in a 480p game? I mean, it's the most important part so far, so. Numa do. It's basically like this part, but with double the progress. Okay. And... Did I use the amp... Did I use an ampersand in the title? Baby? Do you know what an ampersand is? <laughs> I want to say yes, but suddenly I'm drawing a blank, so... The and symbol. You know, the, the symbol for and? It's an ampersand. There's a symbol for... The fact that I remember this is really weird. Because it feels like something I wouldn't know, but I do. No, okay, I call attack and the power. Yeah. Like, and. Should be part three, right? Yeah, part three. Nice. I would say give it a clever title, but honestly, Numa Dunes. <laughs> That's all you have to That's call it. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. Just like all you need to say here is jump. Literally, you could just name the title jump. You could just name it jump, not even put Echo of the Dolphin. I wouldn't be upset. Either that or I could just call it by the level name. What was it, City of Forever? City of Jumping Forever. Whee! You know, if this video ever blows up for whatever reason, somebody please go through and count how many times I've jumped out of the water. For that crazy fella in the future, I'm telling you, make make a, a compilation video of every time he's jumped. <laughs> Just in this one part. You don't have to do the whole LP. Uh... Wait... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not looking. Why are you going crazy? Did you jump backwards again? No, I didn't. Not yet, or anyway. Just, or are you just going crazy as a whole? <laughs> like, no, I went crazy years ago, man. I played oh. Bubsy 3D basically to completion. M minus one rocket. My head. <laughs> I think he's still upset by the fact that, that I didn't want to take the easy route. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I gotta do this. Why am I doing this? You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I want to see if I can do this shit faster than you. <laughs> yes, yes you can. Because you've done it before. No, I haven't. I took the easy way. Well, you've done something harder than this. In this game. My argument still stands. What, beat the game? Yes! <laughs> I, I didn't even beat it legitimately. Well, I did. Like, okay, yeah, you let did. me explain. 
I beat every stage legitimately, but I kept dying. You, you used save states boss. on the last last boss. I did not. Whatever. I didn't use a save state. I used a password. Basically, to keep save going state. Back. Just save a really state lengthy state. one. Uh, yeah, basically save state. Except I took the time to input the password every single time. Oh my god, Gamespot rated Echo the Dolphin five point six out of ten. <laughs> I don't know, that's a little cruel. And I'm saying that now. <laughs> they call it mediocre. I guess they stopped after the first stage. Does it mention anything about difficulty? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm looking. It, there's just cheats on this page, which oh. give me the password. Welcome, my son. <laughs> Welcome. Machine. You're such a good dolphin echo, yes you are. We're gonna train you to take over the world, aren't we? Back to the second one at least. My car, I don't know what you're doing driving around eleven o'clock at night, but so I still have what do you mean? Still. That'd go I would go to work at this time. Okay, point made, but you're not most people. Wow. Rude. I really don't want to open the game. I'm hesitant. <laughs> you may traumatize this badly. It's like, uh... Okay, okay, I opened it. It was really hard for me to actually <laughs> open the game. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> <laughs> oh! I really don't want to do this. You want to know It's like... There's still time for my opinion change? I still actually do like this game. Like, that's not just me denying it for the sake of HBO. I actually do like the game. It's just really hard. I'm gonna cry. Shut up, music. <laughs> I like the game soundtrack. Now is not the time. God, I have, like, PTSD. Okay, I'm on to the third one. Forever. Okay. I still don't know how I did it the last, but it shouldn't have worked the first time I did this. Like, oh, th thanks, thanks, radar. That's so helpful. It says I'm in the middle of a wall. Yeah, this save does have the death song. I mean, you could have just used my password. That I don't know your end. password, and I ain't gonna look for it. It's at the end of the last part. That's what I've been doing in order to get in. Why am I doing this to myself? I mean, it's not even like I set you up for it. You are the one doing this to yourself. I'm getting, like, hardcore flashbacks of fucking Eggman Land currently. Eggman Land has problems, but... It's not this. No, I mean as if, like, you're determined to do this. Oh, yes, 100%. Except this time, there's an easy way out. <laughs> there's an easy way out of Eggman Land, too. I just chose not to do it. <laughs> no, you chose to do it the fast way. Which ended up being the slow way. The very slow way. You want to know the best part? That, that fast way would have at most saved me 20 seconds. <laughs> it's like... Oh, I know, and you kept trying to do it. Didn't you get it eventually? I don't even know. No, I didn't. I gave up because it was going too long. Uh -huh, I don't remember how to do the jumps. <laughs> how would you remember? You never did it! I mean, I had to do the jump in the last stage. I mean, those are different jumps, but okay. 
I'll just assume they're equally hard, if not more so. I'm 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 close to just closing the game just because I don't want to play Echo. I've I have been traumatized for life. So how about that long John Silver stand? Sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> I don't you know. I don't even like seafood, but you know. Uh, I know, right? I hate seafood, but something about this game just puts me in the mood. Something about this game puts me in the mood to fucking cry. How are you even supposed to get over the first jump? Go over to the left and spam the C button. That's what I've been doing. And even the then, it's button. only worse than it wants to. It's actually the B button. It's C button for me. Mm. I might have swapped the two. <laughs> oh, like we should totally form an acapella group, man. <laughs> <laughs> this game has weird physics at times. I know it's a Genesis game, I shouldn't have too high of expectations, but I do. This is debatably a physics-based game. Debatably? <laughs> What's the debate? Please inform me! The debate is, that is, is, is this game good or not? I mean, I, I still think it's a good game, it's just really, really hard. I have a feeling you won't be saying that once you get to the machine. Possibly not. Probably not, but... <laughs> I have a feeling something's gonna change. Look, it's... Like that little slope is way too convenient. They want me to use it somehow, but... I can't even make this first jump. I thought it would be much easier. I mean... I mean, I made the first jump! I did it! <laughs> if you die, you are not doing this shit again. Hell yeah, I am. I, I will leave. <laughs> I, will I will legitimately fucking leave. No, 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 no! Okay, no, there's a block. I'm safe. And there's fish. Wait, are these the same fish from the last level that tried to kill me? No. Those ones were gray. Although I do need... I do need some air! Is there any... A, maybe, but I'm never gonna know. I have an idea. How about I just go the easy way? Oh, that's an invincibility. Wow. What the... Access granted! Access granted! That's how you actually get, you know, I don't know, the easy way. And then you go down, and then suddenly this path that was Wait, did you get an access grant at the same time I did, and that was just really funny timing, or...? Yeah, we both got it at the same time, and guess what? I just went to a warp point that just took me to the way end of the stage. There we go, I beat the stage. Good riddance, fuck you. Sorry, <laughs> this game makes me upset. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I can show it off at the end of the part, but... Yeah. Which, at this point, this part is literally this one level, but... Because I don't think you're going to let me do another part. Can I just, like... Can I just tell you how to beat the stage? I made the jumps! What's left? Can I just tell you how to beat the stage? Go, go that way. Can I go that way? Go, 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 go all the way to the, no, go up, go up, no, no, go up. Yeah, yeah. Destroy those, destroy those, no, destroy those. 
There, there's, there's, you're, you're almost to an air pocket. Remember, you gotta charge into him. <clears throat> go up. Go up. Go to the left. Go. Just go up. No, no, no. Go, go, go. There's the, you missed an air pocket. It's back, back there. It's back there. And then you, you, yeah. There you go. You okay, it. well, I, I do appreciate that. Thank you a lot. Um, then you go that way. Um, I think the rest of the level is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, you have to go to the right. You have to go to the right. There's nothing to the left. You're gonna die. Yep. Okay, no, okay, screw it. I'm doing the easy way. Okay, okay, thank you. God, okay. <laughs> so I made it close enough. <laughs> go uh, all the way to the top. Keep going. No, no. Well, okay, that works. Shoot it. Shoot shoot the statue of David. Go now go to back to the left, go down. Go down. No, go to the right and go down. Go down one more. No, no. To the right, up. No. To the right, 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 to the right. That section. There you go. There's the warp. Now go up. And shoot a sonar into that thing. There you go. Level's done. That is so weird. And now you're going back in time. Wasn't we already back in time? Nope. You were in Atlantis. Because if you think about it, Atlantis would be above the ground. Wait, do I have to keep going yet? anyway? Because I didn't get a password. Go to the right. Oh, this is another one of these stages. Or not. I thought it was another scroller, but no. Go to the left. This is like a short stage, I think. Because, yeah, you don't have your password. Oh, yeah, maybe you have to just talk to that. Sing this song in the air to call the Terra... Tear to dawn. Sing a song. Well, there's got to be sonar, right? Jump in the air and sonar. Hello, Jump. friends. Jump in the air and sonar. Again. Friends, friends, friends. There you go. What a good friend this is. And then go down. So you go down. And go, go. I guess we go left. Uh, maybe if you, maybe if you die, it gives you the passcode. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm Do just... you want to risk it? Because <laughs> another oh. totally realistic option right now seems like they might have me. Start at the beginning of the last stage. Yeah, but the last stage takes the grand total of like a minute. What, you think I'm gonna take the easy way out twice? God. I'm gonna devour your soul. Go through the wall. See? Science. Easy. Easy. Oh. oh yeah, There's your key one. clip. nothing over there's nothing up here you go down you have to go through the holes in the ground come on you might not be able to see because the screen share but there's a really strong current in here it's really hard to move I don't think there is another hole in the ground. I think it's just that one. And I'm not even sure how I okay, did that. Okay, so one. then maybe you have to take the Patera, pterodactyl back out. Friend! I don't think that's an option either. You need to check the right side, you dingus. You dingus. 
Ringus Dingus. And you assumed that I never jumped before. Dude, you just did like four really hard jumps. Don't talk to me about jumping. <laughs> oh, I know. Only took me an hour. I'm dead inside. I'm getting this hole so <laughs> tied with it. I'm dead inside. <laughs> Did you know you can buy Echo the Dolphin new for $129? Who would do that? A part of me wants to just like buy the game to destroy it. It's not worth it, even as a joke. No, like, not new. Like, used. Oh. Just buy it and destroy it. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Probably. This is a, another glyph here. Did you die? Yes, I did. I died, too. Tied on the inside. That joke doesn't work twice in a row. It's not a joke. <laughs> that debatable fact does not work twice in a row. Hey, on the bright side, you have one, two, three, four. Well, I was five. A, just under the halfway point at the end of the last part, if I remember right. We, no, you were just over the halfway point. Really? You said there was 26 and I was at number 12. I don't, look. I don't know. No, you were not in 12. You were in 16. City of Forever, 16. In Jurassic, whatever this is. The pterodactyl's not even showing up now. That's the exit? Did you finish the level? No, I see it on the sonar. Oh. I don't know. It's right below me! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we're not gonna be I, doing Ocarina today. I'm just defeated after, like, the 50 minute mark, and he was like, I'm gonna do this legit, and I was like, Fucking end it. Please. <laughs> like, like, I'd finally made it up to the fourth one and I died. Look here, look here. Wasn't that props. great? I'll give you props because you made all four jumps. But uh, I will OBS not give you froze. Props. What? Oh, okay, no, there it is. OBS froze for a second. Oh, I was like, uh oh. I thought, I thought the game froze. No, it was OBS. <laughs> I have the game on a second monitor and it's working fine. It's literally the only thing on that monitor. I I'm watching on OBS though, so so I'm well aware if anything happens. Mm. Oh, you're the mm. one who told me about the pterodactyl. Right. Pterodactyl, buddy! Did I have to talk to that weird stone glyph to meet you? Yes, hey. I did. Friend! Friend! No, friend! 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 Friend, please! Friend! Okay, there. I met a friend today. His, her, I'm not sure his name was Pterodactyl. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Come along with me again. Why do you keep trying to touch this ski? What are you doing? Because this is where I slipped in last time. Where I no, went through the you wall. slip into the meteor. The crater, whatever. No. Touch it. I'm trying to. The, the game's a lot looser to control than it looks. I just picked up the game. I know. Just get some air. We'll find it together, because I have a theory on where it's at, because it's the only place that you ignored. No, not there. It's at the bottom, 
where all those other meteors are. Go away, current. Get out. Stop it. Get current. Get. Yeah. Okay. Down. 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 C. Uh, not. Yeah, that one. There you go. It's the only one you ignored, because it was slightly upward, so you ignored. What? That's a floating spike. Yes, yes it is. Okay, this is literally nothing there, so I'm just gonna ignore you. Scientists are like, baffled. There was like a glyph over here. I have no idea what the glyph was. <sighs> hey, does it give you a password? No, it doesn't. Uh, uh. So I found out that I do have to talk to this thing. Fine. I didn't even use the sonar this time! Wait, what, what, what? Oh, they put me back! That was nice of you, friend. What a good friend you are. How about you make friends with the eel? I heard they're nice. <laughs> You're turning into Navi and I love it. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds scary. <laughs> You're turning Navi and I've undebatably been turning more and more into Link. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is becoming canon for us. Uh... It's like, give it a year, we're not even going to be acting anymore. <laughs> oh boy, what a shiny cliff. <laughs> Hell, even in this part, I've been like, hello friend! <laughs> what is it? Okay, that's what I figured. Okay, I so like, the, I it's a way to get some air. But it's a one-way trip. Hello, darkness, my Maybe this is easy. Hey, it's a trilobite. Remember the crabs? <laughs> oh, I'll say hello to trilobites. <laughs> They're like pufferfish and crabs, except they move faster. <laughs> they really don't want to get hit. Door glyph. Okay. I'm glad you're finding the door glyphs first, at least, and not you just you know finding the key the key glyph and then just running around for like a century trying to figure it out. So far, I think that only happened in the lagoon. The, uh, the exit was more upwards. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm just exploring, for sake of knowing. You never know. What is there in this game to explore for? <laughs> everything. It's everything, man. I've seen things. Dolphin related things. His third eye has opened. <laughs> we are the Illuminati. You this will game, listen to us. This game has opened his third eye. What? There okay, no, go. there's a password. Okay. Terra Terra Nada Pterodactyl Pterodactyl <laughs> Land is next. Dinosaur place? Dinosaur Place is next. See y'all next time. Bye. I don't think he's gonna let me record anymore. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Before before we end the part, I, I'm gonna pronounce. I'm gonna say what the password is in English because that's how I feel after this part. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> Now we're just talking like Sims characters. <laughs> oh man, I love the Sims. I always try to learn their language. <laughs> See you guys next year. Who can you?